Alcoa is the latest conglomerate to break up following a trend in corporate spinoffs. So far this year, U.S. companies have completed roughly $110 billion in spinoffs. WSJ Moneybeat reporter Maureen Farrell joins us now with more details. Hi, Maureen. So what are the yeah. details of this Alcoa split that we know so far? So Alcoa has been a big aluminum maker. That's what we typically think it think about it. So it's actually splitting into an aluminum making business and one that supply another business that supplies products to the airplane industry, to the automotive industry. So it's it's upstream and value add. That's what it's eventually going to split up into. Interesting. And how is the market responding so far on this news? They've, the stock's way up. It's a it's a down day for the Dow and the S and P, and the stock's up more than four percent. So wow. shareholders really like it. The stock leading up to this was down more than forty percent for the year. Interesting. So that's good for them. Now, as we noted in the intro, Alcoa is just one of several companies that have been announcing or have split. Why is this so popular right now? So it's been a bit a hot topic really for the last two years. And it's a lot of these old, older businesses, you know, particularly in this case, it's aluminum's gotten really hit. But it's, you look at these old businesses like HP, and they're just trying to st struggling to find their way in the market. So investors have been pushing in a lot of cases, not necessarily in Alcoa's case, mm -hmm. to split up so you unlock the value. And how do shareholders tend to re react to these spinoffs? So overall, usually when they're announced, the stock goes way up. That's exactly what we've seen today. Longer term, there are questions of you know how they both can perform. So right. now, once Al Alcoa inks this, It'll spin off next year. We'll see just the aluminum business. It's going to be a tough market for it. Sure. Um, but then the other side, they think in a, uh, the shareholders will actually see what this value add business looks like, how their sales will be driven. So there's a hope that this will overall unlock a ton of value in the whole company. And of course, we're waiting November 1st, HP, that's when they will split up. How has the sort of split between eBay and PayPal worked out there? Not so well. I was just looking at the stock this morning. They're both down more than the um, S&P, which is down, yeah. as you know, um, during the same time. So that has not performed as, mu as well as investors would have hoped. So it's not a cure-all. It is definitely not a cure-all. <laughs> All right, Maureen Farrell, thank you so much for that. Thank you.